Okay, okay ready to pull as hard as you can? Yeah. Push, push as hard as you can? <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Push, 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 push. Relax. Excellent. That was an excellent job. A UBC Okanagan professor and a PhD student have found out a way to test muscle fatigue with a specialized device. And the ones that we're going to look at today are these ones here. These are electric stimulators and these allow us to activate nerves and muscles um, just externally. One of the benefits to using external stimulation is that we can test the nervous system and muscles um, with a known input, whereas when you ask people to do something voluntarily, there are a whole host of things that influence the amount of force that they produce, whereas this allows us to look sort of at separate parts of the nervous system and muscle. We had the unique opportunity to study, to go to high altitude, to the research, and uh, Sherpa, which is the population who was born and raised there, uh, they are exceptional performance at altitude, uh, so even the fittest lowlanders uh, may struggle to keep the pace of Sherpa. It is known that there are uh, some adaptations in Sherpa at the level of the heart, of the lungs, uh, but there were no studies done at the muscle level, and clearly they hike faster, they run faster, uh, anything, they do fa anything faster at high altitude. So, <laughs> We just uh, use uh, this uh, stimulator, electrical stimulator, to activate the leg uh, with the external current, uh, so we excluded the nervous system, so we could a little bit better isolate what was going on at the muscle. Two, one. Oh, right I there. Love that yes. one. You're there. Yeah, we're right there. So this is the intensity that we would normally use. For more information, you can head to ok.ubc.ca. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart in Kelowna. Thank you.